The first rule of thumb, if a condom breaks, don't panic. Right, there is a helpful piece of advice. Hi, welcome to The Basics with Dr. Mo. I'm your host, Dr. Mo. We're talking about the case of the broken condom. You're doing the right thing, you're using a condom, you're having fun, it feels great. Suddenly, something feels weird. You both know it, it's that kind of thing when the condom breaks. I asked women if they've ever had a condom break during sex. Absolutely not. No. What would you do if it broke? Um, well, actually I'm lying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, I did have that happen to me, yeah. No. Once. Um, I have, I have. Yes. And thankfully, no. According to the Center for Young Women's Health in Boston, condoms hardly ever break if they're stored and used correctly. The number one reason for condom breakage, there was no space at the tip of the condom for semen. Always make sure to squeeze the tip of the condom with your two fingers to make room and roll the condom all the way down. It shouldn't be a problem. What if the worst case scenario happens? Probably freak out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, you know, freaked out, cried, um, got really angry. I felt numb and it was scary and I was frightened and both of us didn't know what to do. The first rule of thumb, if a condom breaks, don't panic. Right, there is a helpful piece of advice. Freak out, get it over with quickly, then have the guy withdraw his penis. Then what? Go get some plan B. And I got scared and told him to take it out. <laughs> And we just opened up another one and kept going, pretty much. Plan B. <laughs> um, I went to the pharmacy, purchased it. It was like 50 bucks. So, yeah. And I went to Planned Parenthood, went to Planned Parenthood, um, and went and got Plan B um, and got tested. Stop and get a new one. <laughs> that is such a good if it's, if it's bad, I'll just stop completely. <laughs> then you'd have to talk to your partner. Like that's a, I would talk right away. What are we gonna do? Like, what happened? Why did this happen? We can't, like, let's not let it happen again, so, yeah. If you're not using another form of birth control, you should seriously consider taking emergency contraception, like Plan B, to prevent pregnancy. Like every other Plan B in your life, it's better to have it in place before you need it. Thanks to bedsider.org, you can easily find emergency contraception close to you. All you need is your zip code or the name of the town where you live. On a final note, never use two condoms at the same time. That's a sure way to break at least one of them. As always, I want to give a huge thank you to all of the women who share their stories. We couldn't do this without you. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, and share The Basics with Dr. Mo because you deserve to know. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right.